is Congress. So that, let's first give her the date. 1942 to what year? 1970, 1968 or 70. Okay. How successful was the Hayes Congress? It was a matter of judgment. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's around, judges, judges are judged it. And each person will come up with different answers. You, as someone who was certainly involved in it and saw things firsthand would be a reliable witness to answer that All question. Right. As a witness, yes, but not as a respondent to the question. All right. That, that brings up a show you the word if I were to answer it, a, a response and a judgment, my own evaluation. And that's very complicated. It doesn't lend itself to a quick yes-no answer because it's very much a question of uh, perception and evaluation. Did the Congress, did the Hayes Congress, succeed in the tasks which it set for itself? If it comes down to something more well, simple. Yes. I'm going to repeat your words. Congress looked at the situation as a group and looked at it in a, as a pretty unanimous group, and it set its opinion and its decisions and its program accordingly, wisely or not, profoundly or not. But it, this Congress, and that includes Bronfman and Hayes and everybody else, set up their agenda, and the question is, did they carry it out? I'd say largely yes. What was the agenda to begin with? Certainly the war, the war effort was the major uh, agenda. Okay, starting with 42. Right. It was not the war effort. That was for uh, certain purposes, some reasons. It was very sincere. But basically, the problem was uh, during the war years. Yeah. 42 to 45, help out the Jews in Europe, which was a hopeless task because we were not in communication with Europe. How was that going to manifest itself? Uh, so it couldn't manifest itself. Okay. So it was mostly not real action on the major area. They couldn't help their victims. So there were a few people around, knew a few refugees would escape, you know, and a few others who were escaping. So Congress and the Jewish community of the world did the best they could for those few people and really couldn't do anything for the vast body of Jewry caught in Europe. Okay, so that they couldn't do much about it. Now, they what? could worry about it, they could study it, they could investigate it, they could moan about it. Okay. Everything in the world is very serious. But there was no way they could do anything. All right. What's the next? The next thing is they were concerned with the remnants of anti-Semitism. Because anti-Semitism was suppressed in Canada during the war years. Okay. Except in the intimacy of French Canada, which the Jews in Montreal weren't aware of. So there was really not much they could do, or think, or plan, or be known on that. Did you not make them aware? No, I did not make them aware. They're still not aware. Why didn't you express all Why are they still not aware? At least you have issued uh, press releases. You, you could sort of wash your hands of responsibility by saying, I did my well, duty. I did my duty in a, whatever other forms, but my duty in my hands, 
are not the important issue of the time. You know, it's, is my conscience clear or am I a smart guy? That's not the issue. The issue is the Jewish community and its perceptions and agenda, which is what you're asking about. But if you had the opportunity to make them aware and didn't, you must accept some responsibility. I don't mind any responsibility. I'll accept it fully, and I will not even waste tape on that. Oh. There's no problem about my responsibilities. But I'm trying to answer your questions. You're saying that Congress, that, that uh, during the war, Canadian anti-Semitism was submerged. What was Congress's uh, agenda for that? Zero. Okay, but they, they certainly did a lot for war efforts, but that must certainly was a... Uh, well, everybody knew that this is mechanical and it isn't going to shake the world. How many parcels and Canadian Jewish women would send to the war fronts? It isn't going to decide victory or defeat. But these were necessary things for many reasons because people wanted to send parcels to their children. So that goes without saying it was done. Okay, what, what other items were on the agenda? A very important one, as I see it today, was planning for the post-war period, which some took very seriously, spent much time on. All the programs were wise, and I think they all worked out after the war. 